The 2008 drowning of a six-year-old boy in Connecticut may lead to a drowning prevention plan here in Central Texas. It comes from the Zach Foundation, named after Zachary Cohn. He drowned in his backyard pool. Since then, his parents have been on a mission to save other kids one city at a time, and now they're focusing on Austin. KXAN Sally Hernandez has an in-depth interview with the foundation's executive director. Tell me what is a drowning prevention plan. Is that what it's called? Sure. So um, many countries like Canada, Australia, and New Zealand have drowning prevention action plans. And they are plans that are managed by the, their governments. And they are comprised of elected officials, public health officials, educators, community leaders, advocates, to really look at the drowning rates and the risks in, in their specific communities and develop a plan to address them. We don't have that here in the United States. So. You keep very close eye on the drownings in the United States. And we just really popped on the map for you here in Central Texas, right? Yes, you did. And after tracking a spike in drownings here in Texas, and especially here in Central Texas, we decided to bring this program kind of last minute to Central Texas after noticing a 400% spike in drownings here in Travis County. What would an action plan look like here in Austin? I expect that we'll hear that there's a need for water safety curriculum in public school classrooms, a need for access to learn to swim classes for children of all ages, and a need for CPR training. When you say teach kids in school about swim safety, as a parent, I'm thinking, well, that makes sense. How soon can we see something like that happen? Well, we're hoping to be able to announce specifics of the plan uh, within the next six months so that we can really ensure that classrooms could potentially this, this year during National Water Safety Month in the month of May address water safety in their curriculum. It can be done really simply in um, PE classes, in um, ELA classes, and so we know that, that it's very simple to do, but we need a conjoined effort to make it work. Today, the Zach Foundation met in Austin with first responders, health professionals, and water safety advocates talking about this drowning prevention plan. The group has already created a plan in three other spots, St. Louis, Chicago, and Fairfield County, Connecticut, where Zach was from.